Where is it found? Where in what? Which gland? It's right there. What's the synonym for the word judgment? We just got to talking about it just a second ago. Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom is judgment. Okay, not con not condemnation. To judge it does not mean to condemn. It means to measure the worth and value and meaning. Of it. The the Jewish word for judgment is sephiroth. The esoteric meaning of sephiroth is wisdom. It comes from and through, rather, to this word, which is stated as a Greek word, and it is not. This word comes from this word. From the word Sufi. I hadn't told you that. I did mention it. I was reading it. I was talking about wisdom. It is the gland in the solar plexus, which is in the base of the stomach, which distributes not only all of the digested food through into the bloodstream, but also the vibrations of intelligence operates in the solar plexus, the seat of wisdom. Ah, strange, doesn't it sound? You thought it was a thyroid gland. Well, it is not. <laughs> it is a solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? Any comments or commentary? I think we already dealt with, but we will again, I guess. Maybe, or we didn't in this class. We didn't deal with, did we deal with Adam and Eve in this class? Do you remember? Uh, I think we, we touched on it. Okay, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to it next class. Uh, oh, the other part of the Codex in Scriptus in reference to John 10, 31, 36, another important key word I'm supposed to mention. in relation to G-O-D and A-L-L-A-H. Before you get to G-O-D, you have to do M-A-N. Okay, that does not make the sister a man. It makes her a womb man, the, the, the creator of man. M-A-N, master, able, and noble, is the Codex Inscriptus meaning of M-A-N. Okay, the key, self-mastery. Raising up God not only in you, where God already is, but raising up God as you. Okay? If you want to, that young lady who went out of here, she, she's supposed to be here. This young lady met me on the bus and the Spirit put her in, the, had me leave early. I don't even leave at the time I left. You know, so she would get some direction. And she gone, you know. But she'll get back to it, I, I guess. That, that, that's been like a year ago I did her chart. <laughs> and, you know, since. and she didn't buy the damn book, did she? The key volume, still up there. Slow as dirt, slow as dirt. It is difficult for the black woman to find herself in this country. Very difficult, as we can see, as we watch our women imitate white women. <clears throat> the reason we know you can't find yourself in this culture, you keep finding a white girl. And she is more confused than you are. She don't know if she's a girl or a boy. And, and is overwhelmed by fear. If you know why want to know why people are getting killed that shouldn't be killed, they are being guided and shoved and pushed by fear, which is born of ignorance, which allows one not to have faith and confidence in oneself. 
you're full of fear of the devil and the other unknown 12 fears, you're going to respond as a slave, and I do mean that in the truest sense of the word, the worst kind of slave is the slave that follows his or her glands and not his or her mind, which will make you make mistakes and become someone else's pawn on someone else's chessboard and get you killed. So the major key is self-knowledge. If you can find yourself, you can find your God. If you can find your God, you can master your life. Okay. Any questions? Any comments? Yes. Law. The compass and the square. And the G represents geometry Geometer, not God. The other G O D, I should mention it here, I guess. Which is on the dollar bill, the government of democracy, which is a Masonic meaning of G O D. Any other loose ends to be tied up? Because they are borrowing, as the Masonic Order has done, not indir indirectly, directly they are borrowing because it was given to them, Moorish knowledge. And this building represents the symbol, is the symbol of not only the perfect body, but also the perfect knowledge on planet Earth. This building is in the exact center of land mass on planet Earth, 33.3.5 degrees north of the exact center of land mass. Okay. That Khufu, the one they call Cheops, was guided to get up in the early morning while the stars were shining, not the sun, and guide it to this particular point in the desert. I told to place a pan at that point, and a ray on an angle struck the water on the pan and shine at that point. There he was told to build the Pyramid of Giza, according to the legend and the history of your ancestors. Clever people, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, part two of Moorish science is meditation. The how to become G-O-D. Meditation is a process of doing absolutely nothing the hardest thing for a human being to do. And in the truest sense of the word, it means absolutely nothing. Don't try to think, don't try to imagine, don't try to pray, and actually, at a certain point, naturally, you don't even try to breathe. <laughs> you do absolutely nothing. The becoming is a process that spontaneously unfolds by us getting still, quiet, unwinding. It takes practice. The point of focus is between the eyebrows, the point of spiritual sky. At some point, and, and I'll mention this, I'm, I'm not supposed to, because the problem gets to be one expecting to see something, but I do want you to know that, that the blackness you see behind your pupils is not the reality. It's the sheep of darkness. It's a coating, a curtain, a covering over something. Okay? And through meditation you penetrate that. It literally moves out the way. When your mental vibrations slow down low enough 
for your higher vibrations to have an effect and influence